Good evening, everyone. Today is November the 9th, 2023. And um, this evening, we're just going to do a short review to remind everyone about which oils to use and which ones not to use for high heat. A lot of people don't know about this, and I wanted to bring this up during the Independent Scholars Evenings. For those who don't know, the Independent Scholars Evenings are where we um, we reserve the, we the evening for the ongoing work of Independent Scholars. And um, the range cover is covered from your own research, the Independent Scholars' own research, and through the institute that sponsors these evenings, we also cover integrative holistic healing. Our website is www.qcinstitute.org. Qcinstitute.org. We are a 501c3 and have been in good standing, are in good standing since 1996. So we have a long track record. And on Sundays, we've started um, opening it up for continuing education classes for those who wish to get sessions for their um, professional work. And uh, you'll get a certificate at the end of it. There's no cost to, for all of this work. The reason is because it's education and we consider it's like community service that we're doing. Um, we are funded by contributions and that is all. And um, I should mention that the contributions are only sought for when we have to pay honorariums for invited speakers. Otherwise, all the research is yours. So this evening, we want to go over fats and oils. People think that, you know, you're on a diet, you don't need to have fats and oils, but you cannot live without an adequate amount and the correct oils and fats for your body. You just cannot. Your brain and brain health is based on the correct fats. But it's also important to know what to do with the fats and which ones to use and which ones you would avoid, especially for cooking. So let us look at this. Um, fats and oils. Cleaning up your diet by using the right fats and oils is, is essential to improving your health from the inside out. Now, this is from the internet that we got this information, and you can verify it. We found it to be true because of all the uh, integrative physicians and healers who give out this information that we've been following. We found it to be true, and therefore we are sharing it with you, but please check uh, your resources. So here are the saturated fat. And this is the one that you can use for high heat. And the organic organic virgin forms are best for the coconut. Pasture raised are best for forms for animal fats. So you have the coconut, MTC, animal fats from pasture-raised, grass-fed and organic sources are ideal, and that's butter and ghee. Ghee is your uh, clarified butter, and it's used, I think, mostly in, in um, Asia, India, Bharat is what I call it, the old name. And um, and in America, this used for lobster, I believe, tallow, um, and chicken fat. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, that um, German word. Lamb fat, lamb 
fat, duck fat, grass-fed dairy, eggs, meat, and seafood, avocado oil. Mono, avocado oil is a monosaturated fat that has very high smoke point and is good to cook with. You can also eat it raw. So that's for your saturated fats. Your unsaturated are only for cold use. You know, your last time you went to an Italian restaurant and you were given olive oil and bread to dip in it and eat um, because it's best for cold, cold use. So the organic extra virgin and cold pressed forms are ideal. Coconut oil, olives and avocado oil, nut oils, walnut, pecan, macadamia, flaxseed oil, and they repeat avocado, obviously. They must like it. It's okay to cook with, too. Nuts and seed oil, including nuts and seed butters. And they also say that nut unsaturated fats are typically liquid at 68 degrees room temperature are easily damaged oxidized when heat is applied to them they do, they we do not want to consume damaged fats um one of the things that's missing here and i have to find out more about it is mustard oil Mustard oil is a basic cooking for Bharat, north of India, of uh, Punjab area. It's used all the time. It's, it's so popular and so useful that they, they use it also for massage oil. So you absorb the, the, the mustard oil from your skin, uncooked. And... Um, there's no mention of it, and so I am. Um, I'm kind of surprised about that because it's so popular and it's so such an important part of Ayurveda, the um, science of long life that is practiced in India. So now, which are the ones to ditch? And you have the saturated fat. These are man-made fats and they're never healthy. And so margarine and the hydrogenated, partially, sorry, partially hydrogenated, I can't pronounce that, sorry, oils, man-made fats often found in buttery spreads. Earth balance, especially, I cannot believe it's butter. Uh, I can't believe it's butter. It's very popular. I see it in grocery stores a lot. And I think I did taste it once, and it's not pleasant at all. Um, so we have to avoid that. And the unsaturated ones, like canola oil, also known as rapeseed oil, uh, corn oil for sure, vegetable oil, soybean oil, grapeseed oil, and sunflower oil, safflower oil, rice bean oil, sesame oil, cottonseed oil, and peanut oil. This surprises me because sesame oil is what is used in the south of India a lot. And I think it's used in China, all the Pacific Islands, and Japan. So we need to look a little further into the into sesame oil and peanut oil. Um, so this is what we have for today, just a review. And then people who are looking at this will have to do their own background check. Um, thank you very much.